you've been a sports enthusiast. I was talking to you just before this event. You have truly believed in the potential of MMA. Have you followed the sport very closely? What is it that you like about this sport? I love the sport because, uh, I mean, some way or the other, I've always been connected to action and, you know, uh, such things. So I've trained in a lot of things myself earlier. Uh, it's fun, it's exciting, and it's, it's very challenging. I mean, you sit there and you have this Edlin rush. Uh, that's, that's why I wanted to be a part of this. And uh, after we saw what, what, how it happens in the U.S. and everywhere, I... And India is a country where, you know, I think any sport, like I would say wrestling is a base of this also. So we have, we have people here, so why not start here also? Uh, Arjun, you've been a fitness enthusiast. I'm sure you've been following the sport as well. Do you ever feel when you're watching the sport that I wish I was in the cage with these guys as well and fighting it out? Have you ever had that feeling? Yeah, in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely not in real life. I don't think so. Because it's caged. You can't get out of there. Once you're in there, you're in there. And I think, um, you know, it takes a lot of guts to go in there. And uh, whatever it is, I mean, it looks really violent. But at the end of the day, these guys are physically so fit. They're incredible athletes. You know, it's a sport. And uh, it gives a huge amount of rush to the audience that goes to watch there. Because we can't do it. You know, it takes a special kind to go out there and be able to do that sport. And I think that's what makes them so unique, so special. And uh, MMA having so many different techniques of fighting coming together, I think, um, is that supreme athlete. You know, and that's why it's going absolutely ballistic all over the world. Well, Salim Suleiman, man, musicians, now part of MMA. I think it's a North and South Pole connect, but I want to really hear this. Musicians who sing, dance, compose, now into the cage. You know, um, it's, it might not be surprising, but um, the diaspora of people that actually watch MMA is also the same kind of people that listen to our music. We, we make music which is very energetic, very for the youth. And that's the kind of diaspora that actually watches this. So what better way to connect with the youth than through the sport? And it's, it's, um, it's a very, very interesting sport. It's growing. It's growing rapidly, and um, we want to be where the action is, right in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this thing, uh, the sport is so much about speed and technique, and uh, uh, both me and Suleiman, like, we, we were following it for a while, and, uh, you know, when we saw a few matches, I was like, yes, it's back, and it's in India. And I know this was going to start a couple of years ago, um, but uh, it didn't at that point. And actually, I'm very happy that it didn't, because now that we are part of it, uh, we feel even more connected. So thank you for having us, Bill. Would we also hear a track being composed for the league by you guys? Uh, soon. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Do it for our team. Uh, for sure. <laughs> I said do it for our team. Of course. Yeah. So you've got deals happening here, right, Matt? <laughs> deals negotiated here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to open it up for the Q&A. A small humble request, please keep the questions to the Super Fight League and sports, all right? So uh, just raise your hand, our volunteers will move, or up Saval Poot Sakte, but like I said earlier, the Super Fight League and sports. Thank you. Kaun Saval Poochna Jayenge? There, the gentleman there in the second row, on my left. Ajay sir and Arjun sir, you both are in your daily routine, 